So to determine the size of an array, um, in, normally in Java you would say something like x dot length, um, and you would get the size of the array. Or, um, but in, in, since it's not an object-oriented language, since C is not an object-oriented language, there is no dot anything. There are no methods associated with this primitive data type. Um, there are no dot and methods associated with primitive data types. So if you want to get the size of an array, then you're going to have to use um, size of function slash operator. So the way size of works, before we get the size of this array, something like this. If I want to look at maybe um, the number of bytes, right? The number of bytes that are used for an integer. So if I say integer y, um, doesn't matter what's in it, it's still going to occupy the same amount of space. What size of will do is it'll say, uh, it'll give you the number of bytes that are used for that particular variable or that type. So if I say, um, the variable y is, um, has, or occupies, I'll say, percent %d, so it'll jump out, calculate a value here, and I'll say bytes. Um, I know that an integer is 4 bytes, so I'm expecting that when I run this, I will get um, four bytes, and I do get four bytes. Um, so size of, it will find useful in a number of contexts. And although we'd like to look at this, we tend to look at this and think of it as a function, it's more of an operator. Um, this doesn't require runtime information. It requires compile time information. So uh, this, the type is already fixed once you've made your, issued your declaration. That's why you can say size of an integer, right? You're not passing it. Um, you're not actually passing it a value as much as you're passing it a type size of is smart enough to tell you what the size of an integer is in bytes. So it will tell you that an integer in this case is 4 bytes. Um, and if you needed an integer that could handle really, really big numbers um, instead of 4 bytes, maybe you want a, a, an integer that uses 8 bytes to represent the value. So you would declare it as long, long int. So I'll call that Z. And if I say Z, it should give me 8 bytes for a long, long integer. Um, and if I say long, long int here and run this, it should give me the same answer, 8 bytes. So we can use this size of operator also to um, give us information about um, the number of bytes occupied by our array. And so we can do that by um, passing into or using, um, passing into size of the name of the array divided by, and then also we'll divide that, that quantity by um, the size of an integer. So this memory location is what we're passing it. takes up some number of bytes. And if we split that up into integer sizes, um, then we know how many integers are being used. So these happen to be um, just simple 4-byte integers. Um, and so it's important that this type and this type match. So this integer and this x 
um, they have to be of the same type for this to work. So this is a, an alternative to, a, to what you might be familiar with in Java as x dot length. So when I run this, how many integers are you expecting this to report? Or what will it, it should tell me the size of my array. My array is not size 4, but my array is size 10, because that's what I declared it. The others are 0. Um, so it starts off 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, with six zeros that would follow afterwards. So I'm expecting a value of 10, and I get a 10 here. And if I declared an array of size 15, I run this, and I get an array of size 15. So this can be used um, to print out the array size.